and welcome to the super fun awesome happy time fuzzy fuzz galactic fuzz pedal show my name is Gabor hey welcome along I'm Alex and we're gonna do fuzz today this is an Australian fuzz called the galactic fuzz this is from space sounds space sounds. Sydney yes a big thank you to Juan mm. I hope it's pronounced Juan and uh, Juan and Phoebe down in Sydney who sent us this so uh, full disclaimer this was sent to us by them so uh, if you could like and subscribe first on the channel, give us a thumbs up, ding the notification bell, help us do a thing. And comments, questions below. Yes, please. What do you guys think of this? Yes, please. Now, um, the setup today before we get into sounds is uh, going through a Mozatronics amp switcher over there in the rack into a Cherry Tone OTS Mini 20 head set clean. Racing stroke. Two notes torpedo cap decks doing the IRs. And if we want later, we've got some racks of effects for time base and modulation. Yes, yes. Uh, if, we, if we if we if uh, we choose to do so, yeah. Uh, okay, so the Galactic Fuzz, it's their take on um, a sort of '60s kind of one knob silicon fuzz uh, with slightly more modern features like true bypass and all that sort of stuff, and um, also the a bias control on the outside. Mm. So you've got two knobs basically. You've got what is what are they actually called? Uh, rocket fuel and gravity field. hold field. Sorry, it's really shy with the lights. It's really shiny in here. Gravity field. And the, um, um, the foot switch says blast off. Blast off, yeah. Uh, I, I kind of like the graphics. It's very sort of 60s looking. It yeah. has a 60s, very 60s vibe to it. And the light is green. Cool. You don't see many green lights. Uh, so that's a bias control and that's a volume. One of the things I really like about this is you have no choice in gain. It's just. It goes from high gain to more. Yes, right. more gain or error. <laughs> which is, that's the, that's the way it should be, in my opinion. Every fuzz battle should be like that. Um, all right, do you want to start? Sure. Okay. Excellent. So, um, clean tone? Yeah. Is it clean tone? Okay, so I'm turning the bias all the way down, volume at 12 o'clock. Let's see what happens. There's a lot of fuzz. It sounds really cool. Some crazy sustain, even on um, these are fairly high up. There's still single coils. Yeah, and that's why the, the noise as well, because it's yeah. because we're right by the amp, and it's quite loud in here. Let's uh, with the single coils. Let's just look at the bias range, because it goes so, from yeah. a, a kind of more vintagey, quite high gain, but vintagey sounding fuzz, to more of a Velcro thing as you go mm. all the way up. So let, let's just let's just check out the range. <laughs> That's it, it I, I really like it on the high <laughs> Valkyrie sort of settings. Yeah. Give me, let, let me, let me, let me, let me have a go. Let me. Uh, okay, so uh, Fano Omnis MG6. Uh, love this guitar. And clean, it sounds like this.
it loud. <laughs> it's great. I really dig it. It's a cool fuzz. It's mad. Let's try some humbuckers. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's start that again uh, all the way down the bias. What kind of guitar what? is it that you're playing here? It's a Sire L7 in, I don't know, like... Gold. Should, no, it doesn't make up a name. This can be January Gold because it's January. January gold, okay. Oh, that's crap. I think it's only better. Yeah, please do. <laughs> Does that point somewhere in the sort of 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock kind of area of the mm. bias where the volume kind of goes up a bit and it, all of a sudden it sort of tightens up a bit for a while? It gets slightly more aggressive. It gets quite aggressive. Velcro. Can I have some Echo for funsies? Okay, we've got the uh, Echo Pro by Line 6. Yo. Uh, okay, I'll play around in that area. <laughs> So like immediate the sound, like the transients are so snappy. It's it's like having a compressor on full. That's why there's a lot of noise as well. Cause with yeah. A lot of times with fuzzes, um, there is a lot of n noise involved because it sort of compresses the sound quite a bit. But it's also like there's nowhere to hide. You have to play right on it. Yeah. It's so punchy. And sort of around about there, that's sort of two o'clock-ish, that's when the Velcro is sort of starts coming, mm. gradually starts coming in. Okay. The roll back thing, some echo. That's cool. You have a spin on your um. All right, so now cream with type. fuzz, with fuzz, you need you need to tune lower because you just need to. So this is my um, Squire Jamascus, uh, quite heavily modified. So there's lots of different bits and bobs on it, um, um, different pickups, different everything. But it's tuned to C standard. That's the most important part. <laughs> So let's go see standard.
Sure, I just got a longer neck, that's all. So let's try the baritone. <laughs> and you're going <laughs> one, a semitone lower. You're going to B. Exactly, sucked in. So, um, yeah. Oh, I had phaser on too, that was fun. Let's turn both of those things off. Classic tones right there. <laughs> really cool with that face is it phaser yeah it sounds cool because it's that it sort of makes it hollow almost sounding and it's that Quite stereo image slow with the speed i think yeah no, no, no. that sounds uh, cool that's a cool sounding fuzz it's interesting kind of blends the wall between the wall of sound it's not a muff like it's not as big as a big muff no and it's not as velcro as like silly stuff you like because <laughs> i'm gonna go one better than you are you? I'm going to go to drop B flat. What? <laughs> I think you need council permission to do that. No, 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 no. So I'm lower T than you. Tuna does it even. I think it's a, like a doom machine. It doesn't look like a doom machine, but it's a doom machine. A little bit, yeah. It's massive. It's a f way more controlled than a big muff. That's like the same but earlier. It's not. Yeah, yeah, and you have mids, which you don't have in a big muff. Um, no, I think to me that's a, it's a doom machine. It's this big, massive wall of sounds in a cute enclosure with. Like in a very cute, very sixty sound uh, looking enclosure. Fisher Price rocket. And the dog loves it so much, the dogs live in the room. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you guys think? Leave comments below. I really dig yeah, it. Yeah. And also, actually, best as well. I mean, this is all handmade stuff. Mm. And the price is pretty good as well. So go check out. I'll put links below. I think it's 149 Australian dollars. At, at the time of, of filming, printing, anyway. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's it's very affordable. Uh, handmade. Uh, by two people in Sydney, Australia. Always good to support. If you're Australian, especially support Australian uh, products. Um yeah, I, I have nothing bad to say about it. Oh. It's really cool. It's red. It has a rocket on it. That's rad in itself. And the light is green. You don't see that many green lights. Why not? It's usually red or blue. Yeah. Okay. Or green. This one's green. Know how to please you. Just put 
på typ uh, green light. Great <laughs> love uh, yeah, so big thank you yeah. to Juan and Phoebe yeah, uh, thanks, in Sydney. Thank you so much for sending really this out to us. Lovable, so check out uh, yes, yeah, space sound effects. Uh, all the links below. Um, if there's anything else you want us to do with the pedal, let us know in the comments as well. Um, if you want us to go lower, I mean B flat, drop B flat. That's sissy stuff. You should have really drop eight it, man. Okay. Uh, <sighs> next time. Next time. We'll see if that's legal and do it next time. See you soon. <laughs> see you. Catch bye. You.